Alright. Today, we are smelt fishing. Squid. Size 8 octopus hook. Alrighty. Oh. Sinker messed up. Give me a second. to put the sinker farther up on the line and when I do since I'm up I will show you my setup so I have a size 8 octopus so can't really see and then a little um, drop shot weight and now what I do is I'll take it Drop it down. And the smell. Love the squid. Since it's so durable and I can just peck at it and peck at it. And then, when one fully gulps it in and swallows it fully, that's when you got a hook set and they don't know what hit them because they always do that and they always get away, but not this time, buddy. Oh, there we go, there we go. We got two fish. Oh, I dropped it too, too low. Too low, too low, too low. Fill it up. It just became super windy. Oh, you see them? Oh yeah, they're pecking at it. Look at them go. Mm, that's so cute. So what I'm gonna do with these guys next is I'm gonna use them for bait for a bass. In fact, I actually just caught one and released it. So whenever I see the squid just go away and it just becomes purely white, I'll just hook set. Or if I see it start moving. Or if I see a smelt come up and bite it, and it's like actually like a good bite and you can't see the squid anymore, that's when I want to hook set. Now what I do is after I get one, they don't really care if the sinker's there, they just really want the squid, that's it. That was a good one. I'm gonna go show you guys my setup and I'm gonna let them peck at it until they get fucked. So what I have over here is a two ounce sinker, swivel, 40 pound line, which is just my main line. Um, and then to a circle hook, not sure what size, but it's like really big. I don't know good for bass and halibut, which is what I'm catching around here. Oh, we got one. See, that's what happens when you leave it in the water, is um, they just keep on pecking at it. Yeah, they don't stop. And so when your, when your hook eventually gets them, well, it gets them, and that happens. Gonna unrig them. Unhook them. backlashes like that. You don't want backlashes. So that's why I have my thumb on it. It drops. Line is loose. There's slack line. So now what I'm going to do is put it in free spool like it was. Let out a little bit of line and slap that clicker on. And basically that clicker has some drag to where it will go off of a fish pipe. Very good if you want to catch a fish. 
basically that's how I rig up. I don't think I'm gonna catch one. Uh, I might. Depends. Cause I caught two today. And caught three good ones yesterday. So that's what it'll sound like is the quick clicks. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now it's the waiting game. And when that line goes straight and the clicker goes, that means I got a fish. But sometimes the line goes straight and the clicker doesn't go. That's because your fish is swimming. And because it's live and the, um, the sinker can slide. So that is the um, fish swimming, pulling it there. Like, look, and you can grab your line and pull on it a bit to test it. Yes, I feel my fish on that. And since you have that swivel, basically just drag that swivel while it's swimming and the sinker can slide or move wherever it wants to. So if a fish picks it up and you uh, land it in, it'll just go to the swivel. So the fish can still swim. Yeah, that's my tutorial on a bass slash halibut rig. I guess I don't, I don't even know yeah that's just pretty much it peace